We're going to deal with the debt ceiling. We have, we have, I think things are going as planned, God willing. I'll, have, I'll be landing in Colorado tonight in preparation for my commencement speech at the Air Force Academy tomorrow. And God willing, by the time I land, the Congress will have acted, the House will have acted, and we'll be one step closer. All right, welcome back. That was President Biden just a little while ago, uh, speaking from the White House earlier today as the House prepares to vote just hours from now, probably about three hours from now, on the deal that the president made with the House Speaker, Kevin McCarthy. The Congresswoman from Illinois, Jan Schakowsky, joins us live from the Capitol now. Congresswoman, thanks for being here. I saw that you were a no vote on the, uh, on the sort of procedural vote a little while ago. Are you going to be a no vote coming up here in a few hours' time? Well, thanks for having me, Blake. Yes, I am. Uh, first, I'm going to make sure that my vote does not result in a default. In other words, that there are enough votes in order to make sure that it passes. But I think it's very important to make the point that it is not okay for Republicans or anyone to hold our a whole economy, the world economy, hostage in order to get its way. I have a number of things that I don't like about it as well, having to do with the SNAP program, um, having to, to do with the uh, Internal Revenue Service and the, the, number, the, the uh, amount of money that has been, been cut. There are a number of things that I don't like about it. But mainly, I want to send the message that never again should Republicans be able to, to say, we're going to hold everybody but hostage you know until we get our way. You know what, Congresswoman, it sounds like you're trying to have it both ways, though, because you want to vote no unless it avoids default. And I'm wondering why that's sort of your, your position. I mean, isn't that trying to, trying to straddle the line and, and sort of have it both ways here? So, you know, 20, 29 of the Republicans have already voted no on, on the rule. Do you think all of the Democrats now should go along with an agreement that in many ways, I think, has really not been good for Americans, for ordinary people, for, uh, for, for consumers. You know, I, I'm, I'm not, for example, um, for the, the pipeline that has, that has been suggested. There are a number of things that I think are not good and I don't want to vote for them. But I also want to send this important, mes this important message. Don't fool with us again like this. Did Joe Biden let you down, Congresswoman? Because I hear you talking a lot uh, right now about Republicans and, and, and the like. But at the end of the day, this was a deal that was negotiated by the president of the United States, the head of your party. Um, you don't seem too enthused or thrilled about it. Did he let you down? No, I think absolutely not. I think what we see in the, in the agreement that Joe Biden was able to negotiate is that so many things have been protected. Medicare, Medicaid, which they wanted to cut, Social Security, bet, veterans benefits that were on the line and that absolutely have been protected. All of the benefits that happened from the last session and the signature uh, bills that we passed the infrastructure bill, um, the chips bill, uh, all those things that we got in the Inflation Reduction Act, including for the environment, are there right. and protected. I think it was actually brilliant negotiating. Brilliant negotiating by the president? Uh, I mean, it, it sounds, like, sounds like there's a lot of uh, Democrats who, are, who aren't thrilled about this. Um, we got to leave it there, though, Congresswoman. Uh, Jan Schakowsky, thank you for joining us here on The Hill. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thanks, Blake. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.